this video is about power factor and an ideal transformer. According to mainstream science, an ideal transformer is one that has no losses and it's able to attain a power factor of one. That's a condition that's said to be an impossibility and that the best design transformers can only achieve about 98 to 99 percent on the power factor. So here I have a transformer that I used in a few of my other videos and it's a steel laminated core transformer. This transformer had a center tap which I took apart and I brought the wires from the bifiler center out so that I can access them to wires to add capacitors in there which is the same as Tesla's bifiler coil but you split the center tap and put a capacitor in there now what that does is turns the two wires of the coil into a capacitor basically which is something that you can't achieve by adding a cap out here in series or parallel in the external circuit of the coil so by doing this here you're you're able to change the condition of the coil So what I have going on here is right now I have the, the cap shorted so they're not really in the circuit at the moment and I have two incandescent bulbs here that I'm driving from the transformer and we're going to look at the power factor on this watt meter and we're going to see if we can attain a power factor of one. get this the power factor and right now we have a 0.95 power factor I'm going to disconnect this so we have the caps in the circuit and we got a power factor of 1 now I have these capacitors here are uh, non-polar caps and I have a total of 1880 microfarads take quite a bit of capacitance to be able to do it now the other thing with this is these bulbs are pretty much a fixed load if your load changes your capacitance value is going to also change to be able to get the power factor one Thanks for watching.